Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Kitzmiller back with you. Um, we just went through finishing. Uh, we went through a batonet, which was our French fry cut, which went down to our small dice. Um, that was a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch. The batonet was quarter by a quarter by two. And now what we're going to do is we're going to attempt our julienne cut. Our julienne cut is a much smaller, or it's actually exactly half the size of a batonet. It's a one eighth by one eighth by two inch. Um, when we are done with that, it will look like a matchstick. That's why we call this a matchstick cut. And after we do our matchsticks, we're able to do our brunoise. Again, a French term. Um, this is a cube one eighth by one eighth by one eighth. Um, so we're starting again. We've got our two inch pieces here. Um, we're going to cut our side piece off to stabilize it. I've already done that. Lay it on its side. We're squaring this off. We're using our claw technique. We're using our uh, grip, our safe grip. We are just trying to get us a good square here. Um, that right there is what you're going for. I'm going to do a, a couple more real quick so we've got them ready when we get down to business. I'm going to do my initial cut. Just trying to square it off. Let roll it over. Roll it over. Okay. Get closer to you guys so again it's not that big but it's about two inches long and it's square I'm gonna do one more here I'm going to keep my cutting board clean try to cut off as little as possible get a flat edge flat edge all the while I'm trying to keep my knife straight up and down I'm letting the knife do the work for me so we've got our two inch piece right now, if I've got a one quarter or one eighth by one eighth by one eighth, I've already got my two inches. I'm going to cut this off a little bit more. I think I missed the side. Makes me feel better about life right now. Um, I have to now cut my piece one eighth of an inch. So that is thinner. If you want to look at our model again, this is our Julianne right here. This is uh, half the size of that um, batonet. I've got it upside down. This is a Julianne right here. This is half the size of the uh, um, the batonet right there okay so clean my knife off nice even cuts we're going for a couple trying to go straight down as possible let the knife do the work always have a nice sharp knife Going for what do we call this consistency, right? We want it to be consistent across the board. Now I'm going to put this over here against this right here. See if we're close. I think we're pretty good. We're not that far off. I'm trying to get a good angle for you. I've got my other tool here. This is my basically that's my Julianne mold model right there. It fits right in there, snug as a rug. Did a pretty good job on that one. Cut a couple more. Again, slow is the way of the walk. All of these are pretty consistent. Now, I've got my, at this point, I've got my eighth of an inch wide two inches long I'm going to be going into now I've got to make my stick cut so this has, stands the reason has to be one eighth of an inch so again this is going to be pretty thin going straight down keep this off, out of the way keep these out of the way Mr. K would have been thinking he would have kept the batonet so you guys could look at it. Compare the two. But we didn't always accuse me of thinking, right? So let's take a look. See how close we came. So right here is our model we're going on, going for right here. That's our Julian. That's our guy right beside it. It's not too bad. You can see one side we're going for an eighth of an inch right here an eighth of an inch on the bottom, and then two inches along, two inches long. Not too bad. If you take it and put it directly up against this piece right here, this is our cut that it's supposed to go into. 
It's not too bad. It's, it's kind of models right on, right on top of it. From there, we take this, and this is where we make our brunoise. One-eighth of an inch by one-eighth of an inch by one-eighth of an inch. We take our matchstick. Resembles a matchstick, right? You've got one-eighth of an inch. Now, a brunoise is different than a mince. A mince is very close to a brunoise, except a mince, a mince, I am spelling, I am saying the word M-I-N-C-E, is irregular small chop. That means it does not have to be one-eighth by one-eighth by one-eighth. Um, if we were doing this for, if you were in a culinary class in a culinary lab, if we were going for a brunoise, we want all these sides to be uniform. We want them all to be uniform. I'm, I'm trying my best to cut these all one eighth of an inch. Now something this small would probably be used as a garnish on a soup or on a plate um, because as small as it is, and again when you're cutting things this small, what do you have to do? You have to be careful of your grip. Um, these are, you've got small tiny little pieces. I'm going to try to put it on my um, my board here so you can see how small we are. Get a look at that right there. That's a small little cut. That's a broom wob. That's one eighth of an inch by one eighth of an inch by one eighth of an inch. Thank you.